Hello, my name is Eric Skorlik. I'm a consulting sales engineer with Forcepoint. In this video, I'm going to show a little bit more about our cloud app control and data protection for cloud apps. Uh, so I have two use cases uh, in this video that I'm going to show. First use case is going to be free form control for Salesforce and service now. So pretty much someone typing or posting uh, a, a keywords or dictionaries that we don't allow that in those systems, either Salesforce or service now. And the second use case is going to be related to data protection for cloud apps. So it's pretty much uploading sensitive data or downloading sensitive data for those cloud applications. So let me first show the policies that I have in place for the free form, and then I'm going to demonstrate that. So here, over here in the, in the Forcepoint CASB UI, you can see a custom policy, Salesforce reform detection. And this policy, I create a policy that is pretty much action, create, and record confirmation. And I have the option here to block. So I'm applying this activity for a real-time control, which real-time control, I'm going through a proxy from the force plane, CASB gateway, in order to control the activity. And then I have the same policy that I create for ServiceNow. So if I go over here in ServiceNow, I have pretty much the same policy, ServiceNow blocking keyword. And I have keywords, confidential tasks, and the action is also created. So let me, now, let me go now to ServiceNow first. Let me create an instance. So I already have an instance over here. Let me create an instance with the task name, task keyword. So I just got blocked by, by the force point CASB solution. Uh, if I do the same thing in the incidents or, or right now again and type confidential, it will happen the same thing. So let me go over here. Confidential is the second keyword that I have. And I also got block. Now let's go to Salesforce and do the same thing, perform safety. Let me do confirmation and then share. And then I also got block. So pretty much I have the ability, our solution has the ability to identify free forms and block that. And if there is anything that we don't support regarding free forms, we will be able to customize our mapping in order to make that make our gateway to understand the free form, then we can block as well. So now we're done with the first use case and going to the next uh, next use case is cloud data protection, pretty much controlling upload, upload of sensitive data to those applications as well. So over here in our force point DLP manager, uh, I have a bunch of policies. Uh, the plus that I'm going to demonstrate is regarding credit card numbers. So I have PCI, credit card numbers. I have my condition, credit card numbers, my severity action, severity high, block all. Whenever I click in action plan, I have cloud channels, cloud proxy, file uploading and attaching, file downloading, block is both block for both. Uh, you have two options, either Audi only for me or you block. And then going to destination, I have, I can spend the same policy that I have to other DLP channels, but I can will apply for DLP cloud or I can apply to all channels. So in this case, I'm applying for DLP uh, cloud proxy, all applications that I have, I don't have all the service now and Salesforce, I have many other applications over here and I'm select, select the user operations to monitor file uploading and attaching. So let's go now to the sales, 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 Salesforce and service now and show the file uploading. So I'm going to upload a file that contains a sensitive data. Uh, let me change over here, for upload from the computer. Going to my desktop, I have a file with credit card numbers over here as we can see. There's a few credit card numbers there. Let me try to upload the file. It's uploading and I will get a block notification. But then I got a block notification. Now let's try the same thing with search now. Let me create an incident, and that incident, let me try to attach a file that credit card number is attachment as well. And it will also get blocked by our solution. So I got blocked. So pretty much I created a policy uh, in a force point DLP solution. Uh, if I want to see all the activities that I perform in the cloud application, I can go into CASB UI and see all those activities. So if I go over here, 
go to real time and let me select all applications, not just office, not, not just cyber personnel in Salesforce, let me select everything that we have. So selecting all the assets that I have, there are source now, the box, the Dropbox, Office 365. But in this case, we're focusing on all the service now and, and Salesforce. I can see all the activities that have been, not just the upload, not just the free form. We can see the free form uh, rules that were violated. Service now blocking keywords, Salesforce free form detection. But I can also see in real time activities over here, two policies that were triggered, the PCI policies as a, as a show and a DLP manager that were triggered. Uh, if I go to the DLP manager, all that information goes to the DLP manager as well for data protection proposals. So you can see those logs over here. And then we have the full forensics of the file over here. We have the operation, uh, file uploading and attaching, uh, the, same, the same thing for service now as well. All right, that's pretty much what I have for, for this video. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe in our Forcepoint Tech Talk channel.